What's going on everybody? Doug Lane here, Fast Lane Car Care. Hey, today I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, swivels, swivel sockets versus universal joints. And we'll talk a little bit about it, why you, you know, you may or may not want them. Um, and I'll flip you around and show you what we're talking about. Put you on the tripod here. All right. So... I just picked up this set of Duralast swivel sockets. They are a six-point socket. They have a very nice etching on them. I wish that it had the markings on more than one side. They don't, but, you know, overall it's pretty nice. Um, I was not a fan of swivels, swivel sockets. I just didn't really feel like I needed them. Didn't feel like they were, you know, that great of a thing. Um... But for Christmas, I got a Lowe's gift card, and I thought, you know what, I'll buy a universal joint. I bought the set that's a 3 8 universal and a half-inch universal impact rated. And I uh, used them on a brake job, saved me a lot of time because I was able to use my little impact. Um, and I was like, wow, okay, that's pretty cool. Maybe I should get some swivels, some swivel sockets. So... Uh, AutoZone had these for like 20 bucks. I believe it's $19.99 for the set, uh, 10 through 19. Um, and I, I just use metrics. So one of the things you may want to keep in mind is these are not impact rated. These are made for hand tools. Um, I know some people will run these on impacts. You, you really technically don't want to do that because these are a harder steel. The chrome tools are a harder steel, which is more prone to cracking under the repeated impacts of an impact gun, rather than these impact universals or impact swivels. They are made of a supposedly softer steel that has more give to it, um, so they won't crack or break under the repeated impacting of the impact mechanism, if that makes sense. I know there are a lot of people out there that will use chrome tools on impacts, vice versa, I don't care what you do, I just want you to understand that that's, you know, if you're misusing them, they could break. Now these are lifetime guaranteed uh, through AutoZone, it says no hassle, you just take it back if it breaks. End of story. Um, so one of the cool things, you know, like I said, I, I saved a whole bunch of time using my uh, impact, uh, little impact socket swivel with the universal, it saved a lot of time, but it was like, the impact gun was basically right up against the wheel well. Um, and so impact sockets will save you a lot of space. So if you can see that, there's clearly a pretty good size difference between this setup versus this setup. The socket portion itself is very, very close to the same size. These are both, I guess this is a 12 and I grabbed the 10. So, let's grab the 12. So we've got our 12 with our universal 12 millimeter, 12 millimeter uh, swivel. You know, you've, you can you can see that this is going to get you in some much much um, tighter spaces with having the swivel socket. So uh, what I want, I obviously I want to get an impact set of swivels, um, but I want to get a set from SK. SK is made in America. I want to support American companies as much as I can. So the next set will be um, American made, but I had these, I was there or they had these, I was there, um, I know how much time they can save, and for 20 bucks, I really don't care if they break, uh, or anything like that, so I'm going to use them, and enjoy them, and when the time comes, I'll probably replace them with a set of SKs, and maybe give these to a friend, or something like that, but I also want to point out, they do come with this uh, plastic rail, uh, the clips do slide, I prefer magnets, I'll get a, another magnetic bar, but for now, you know, pretty nice. 20 bucks, they work, you know, don't really know what else I can say about swivels. That's one of the reasons why you may want a swivel uh, set over an impact. Now, the flip side of that coin, let's talk about that real quick. So if you do have 
uh, a CV joint, universal joint, you can use, you know, you can use your standards or your metrics. You can use six points, twelves. You can use deeps or shallows. This is just a swivel set of shallows, and this is just metric. So, you know, if I wanted to get a SAE set, I would be looking at 40 bucks basically for the two sets. And here's the thing. I almost never use SAE, so it doesn't really matter to me. I can, you know, obviously I already have the universal joint, so if I need to use SAE, then I can just grab a standard socket, throw it on the universal, and I don't have to buy the whole set. If I worked on, you know, if I was a pro, if I did this for a living, then I would work, you know, I would probably buy both sets um, and and be done with it. But I'm, I'm not, I pretty much only work on Japanese cars because I own Japanese cars. Well, I do have one Jeep, but I don't really work on it. Um, don't really need to. Uh, really don't need to work on the Hondas or the Toyota or anything either. But in the event that I do, you know, most of my family's cars and stuff are metric, so to me it just makes more sense to have the metric tools. If I need SAE tools in the future, I can just go buy a set of SAE, you know what I mean? So something to consider when you're looking at, you know, CV versus impact swivels or regular swivels, um, you know, just like I said, something to consider. So hopefully that helps you guys out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.